Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I just wanted to share with you how I made this design on, for me at least, really short nails. So I just wanted to do something quick and easy but also fun to do. And since I have a ton of different water decals, I was like let's just put some on my nails because I rarely do so and I also really wanted to try out my new uh, marble inks that I got from uh, Madame Glam. So yeah, it's kind of like a mix and match design. But first up, of course, you want to work on a clean surface. But since I have a tear in my pinky nail, I pre-recorded this video, by the way, like six or eight weeks ago already. So that is why my nails are really short in this video. They are already way longer, as you might have seen in like previous videos I lately posted. But yeah, um, I'm just going in with a layer of of base first and cure that for 30 seconds. Of course, um, I already prepped my nails on forehand, so just went over with a soft buffing block to get rid of the natural shine of the nail. And I used some rubbing alcohol to get rid of any dust or any oils that still might be on the nail plate. So you just wanna apply a thin layer of your base coat I always personally prefer to cap off my edges with the base coat as well. Some people only do so with a color gel, but I just do it for the base color and the top coat. Then as a base for my decals, I'm going in with Perfect White. This one is by Madame Glam as well. As I mentioned in previous videos, I'm just a big Madame Glam fan. Fan. I love their gel polishes. They last um, on me at least for over a month. And yeah, I'm just really, really happy with the brand. And they're really easy to remove as well. You can soak them off in like 10 minutes and you're good to go. So I just chose to apply one layer of that white first. Of course, capping off the edges and curing that for 30 seconds before I would go in with my water decal. As I mentioned, I have a ton of water decals. I have so many and for some reason I really have to like store them differently so I see them more often and also use them more often because I have so many pretty designs on those and it's just a shame that I rarely use them on my own nails but yeah, they're just really fun to use and I think this design is really beautiful. I think I got it in a pack of like 60 or 20 different water decal designs. The only thing is these um, specific ones I rarely use because usually my nails are way longer. If you've been following me for the last couple of like years, you know that I usually have really long natural nails. Um, and these smaller decals actually don't fit my nails. So if I want to use these, I have to use like both sides of the water decals because it just won't fit. So I have to use like double decals on a nail usually. But what you want to do with water decals, make sure to remove that clear film and then dunk it in the water for like 15 seconds or something like that. It sometimes depends on the decal or the brand, how long you have to put it in the water. Um, but yeah, it's they are just so easy to use and it doesn't matter if you keep it in for 15 seconds or 20. Um, it's not a big deal if you leave it in a little bit longer. That only makes sure that it's easier to get off of the white backing paper. So yeah, just wiggle it a little bit. Just let it sit for a bit. As you can see here, I just let it just be. <laughs> and I took it out with my little tweezers again. And you have to be able to really easily slide it off the backing paper. If it doesn't come off easily yet, um, just let it sit in the water for a couple of more seconds. And yeah, then you can just place it on the nail how you want to. Sometimes you can um, still kind of move it around if there is like some water still underneath there. But you just want to press it down gently on the nail and just make sure there aren't any like air or water bubbles or anything underneath. So yeah, they're really, really easy to use and they always have a beautiful effect. Also, um, I just pressed it down with my fingers, but you can use a little brush or anything like that as well if you want to. And also to remove any excess of the decal, I just used a brush and some acetone and you can even use some like regular nail polish remover as well. 
if you're not going to apply this on gel polishes but on um, regular nail polishes it's really easy to use or to remove i have to say with a little bit of nail polish remover as well but i just let that sit for a couple of seconds make sure everything is in place and that all the excess is removed before i go in with my no wipe top coat this one is by madame glam as well and i'm of course capping in the edge of my nail and yeah just cure that for 30 seconds and you are good to go of course always make sure to get rid of any excess that might have gotten onto the skin around the finger or just at the cuticle area you don't want to cure any gel onto the skin because it hurts it burns and it's just not good for you then for the other fingers i just applied um, the base coat already and of course for all of the other fingers i am going to apply the perfect white as well but since i was working on one nail at a time i just decided to do one nail at a time of course if you work on someone else if you want to recreate this design you can just work on one uh, one hand at a time or maybe two if you feel like you want to work on two at the same time um, but i feel like it's easier to just work on one hand at a time especially if you have someone in front of you that you're working on and who's still like busy doing stuff on their phone or something um, it just makes sure that your client uh, won't get any uncured gel on their phone or on their fingers or anything like that so yeah that's just what i love to do but if you do this on yourself and you're just like i just want to do one finger at a time or maybe two like go ahead it's really really like there are no rules to what's the best way to do anything like this it's just what you personally prefer and if you're like i just want to do one nail at a time like i do right here that's totally fine and totally up to you so yeah here i already removed the excess of the decal as i mentioned these decals are quite small they aren't as long um, but they're perfect for my nail length or at least the length i had in this particular video as i mentioned um, i pre-recorded this video like six or eight weeks ago um, and that like i had to shorten my nails because my thumbnails already broke i think that was like around christmas or something um, and i recorded this video somewhere in january i think early january and i actually wore this design for over three weeks and i i wasn't bored with this design at all um i think that was because i used different decals and they were just like one design but i also used some of my colored like marble inks so that is what i'm going to do for the ring finger it was just a little bit fun and just for me to try it out because i hadn't used them on my own nails yet so i have already applied a base cured that applied the perfect white cured that as well and then i'm going in with the velvet matte top coat because i always feel like um, marble inks work best on a matte surface you could also apply it on top of a shiny surface uh, surface like a glossy top coat or something like that that works fine as well but i just really love the way it works on a matte surface so yeah it's totally up to you if you want to apply it on a matte or a glossy top coat so i just got a couple of different colors that i really wanted to use so i went in for some um a pink a purple a blue and a red and yeah the the names kind of like speak for themselves so you have the light blue ink the purple ink the pink ink and the velvet red ink and yeah i'm just going to play around with this and i actually had a lot of fun while doing this then i also get a little dappen dish and i have already applied a little bit of like pure acetone in there because i really love the effect um, acetone gives to these marble inks of course you can also use the clear ink that is also in this new york ink collection by men and glam um, but i just feel like you can get a, a kind of different effect with acetone i wouldn't say that the clear ink gives a less beautiful effect it really does give a gorgeous effect but i just wanted to do it a little bit different and yeah if you never try something new or something different you never know what the outcome might be so i didn't really have a plan on forehand i was just matching some of the ink colors um like together with the colors that were in the decals but 
when you are going to use that acetone the colors blend in a lot so you might want to like keep on going in with some specific colors to keep uh, or to get back more of the vibrantness vibrantness is that a word <laughs> just to keep the brightness of the colors let's just put it to that and of course the acetone works really really quick and yeah that's just something you want to keep um, an eye on as well it it can totally like dissolve all color from the nail um, so yeah, it's it's a little bit like you really have to get used to doing it like this But then again because it are marble inks you can just totally keep on going in with your colors and Just stop at the moment that you feel like you have the most pretty effect So first off I almost like blended all of the colors in together and I actually already really like how this looks it's kind of like uh, painting kind of something something I don't know how to explain this but I just made sure that a lot of the colors were already dissolved and kind of like blended into each other so they became more pastel like if you can say it like that but yeah you just want to keep on adding um, the amount of colors or maybe some other colors as you can see here they really blend in together quickly um, while using the acetone it does work a little slower in my opinion and the lines will be a little bit more soft when you use the clear ink from this collection but yeah i just think it looks really really cute and then again just keep on adding as much or as little as you want to you can go like really crazy with it as well but yeah as i mentioned i just wanted to keep it a little bit more in the color range as the water decals were and of course you can also just choose to do a super marbly effect with just one color and make it really veiny and really like the natural stone like but i just thought it looked really cool doing it like this and here you can see i wasn't really happy with what it looked like after i had applied that last couple of like drops of ink so i just went in with my acetone again dispersed it a little bit just made sure it blended removed some as well you can just take it all off if you want to if you're not happy with it and just add some more color or maybe a little bit more of one specific color and skip another one so yeah you can just keep on playing with it um, there are no rules as i usually say in my videos when it comes to nail art um, just make sure that you use good products and you like apply it in a proper manner make sure that you are comfortable while doing it and your client as well if you work on other people and yeah that is pretty much it so once again if you are happy with the end result you can just let it air dry for like a minute or something i wouldn't wait super long because those inks actually kind of dry already once you apply them um, and yeah just let it air dry for a little bit and go in with your top coat you can choose for a glossy top coat that i am going to do um, in this video but you can go in with a matte top coat as well if you feel like you want a matte finish so yeah i really love the end result actually i think the colors match the decals really nicely and of course if you are done don't forget to screw the caps back onto your inks because i actually while swatching that collection i knocked over one of the red inks and my table is ruined for life <laughs> but yeah just go in with your top coat as i mentioned and cure that for 30 seconds of course making sure to cap in the edges as well um, I sometimes get questions um, why I cap in my edges that's just to prevent any tip wear and your manicure definitely lasts longer that way but this was the entire design already let me know what you think it's just a little bit of a mix and match with the marble inks and the decals but I really love the combination it really gives a little bit special to the entire look instead of having five fingers fully with decals if you want to see a video like that you can just let me know in the comments down below and i will just make something new with decals only if you want to in a next video but yeah that was already it i really hope you liked it and yeah as usual i love you so so much and i definitely hope to see you guys in one of my next videos